Number 19 is a good example of a question that you should probably skip at least at first. See what number 20 is all about because number 19 is just weird and uh, it, you could easily just get too slowed down by this question to finish the section and you'd be leaving behind the 10 points from question number 20. So it's okay to jump around a little bit, especially in the grid ins where there's no answer choices. Jump around, do the things that you can get quickly and add on whatever points you can, and then with whatever time you have left, either check the ones that you've done so that way you can guarantee those points, or fiddle around with something like this. And this one is especially annoying because there's really no shortcut, at least none that I've ever been able to find. If this were a multiple choice question, I would love to be able to guess and check. That would be awesome. But we don't have choices, so we can't do that. And it's also possible that the number doesn't work out nicely, so we might not guess randomly in a good way. So we kind of just have to do this the long way. But what we're going to do is just like do what they tell us and hope that we make the right equation. And even that is kind of hard. So when I read this, how many liters of a 25% saline solution? Okay, well... This is a good example where I'd say, all right, 0.25x, how many x liters of a 25%, like I'm not thinking too hard, I'm just kind of doing what I'm told. Okay, must be added to, well, I know that part, that's plus, three liters of a 10% saline solution. So okay, 0.1 times three. So notice the, the symmetry of this equation so far. So 25% of however many liters, we don't know yet, and 10% of these three. Is, needs to be added to obtain, so equals a 15% saline solution, so 0.15. But 0.15 times what, right? There's a certain number of liters. And this right here is the part that most people mess up and the reason they don't get the points. So it's complicated. Again, I don't know a shortcut or a, a clever way to remember this other than to realize that if I'm taking a certain number of liters and then, or taking three liters and then adding some other amount to it, that's another addition problem. So this is gonna be X plus three. However many liters we're adding plus the three we had originally, that's the total number of liters. So it's what we've got. now. One thing you can do to make your life a little easier at this point is you can multiply everything by 100 to just get rid of all these decimals. So basically 25x plus 10 times 3 equals 15 times x plus 3. I think it just makes it a little easier to think about. That's totally fine to do because it's all balanced. So let's now just start simplifying. 25x plus 30 is equal to 15x plus 45. Okay, well, now it's just algebra. So we're going to subtract 30 from both sides. At the same time, I'm gonna subtract 15x. Notice how I write out all these steps because I'm afraid I do all this work and I lose a negative somewhere. That's kind of frustrating. So that's 10x is equal to 15. We divide by 10 and x is equal to 1.5. And that's the answer. So once we get going, it's not so bad, but it's very difficult to come up with this equation from the start. And honestly, this doesn't happen a lot on the SAT where you need to come up with this complex equation out of thin air. Usually we have some way of doing it that's got a strategy or they give us the equation. So this is a rare kind of thing. Um, so unless you're really kind of knocking, getting close to the 800, this is a low priority question for you. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it.